In this video, we're going to compare and contrast the Blue Heeler to the Australian Shepherd. The Blue Heeler and Australian Shepherd are really quite similar. They're both working class dogs that are brave, smart, loyal, and loving. And they even make for great family dogs. But there's some key differences that we'll explore in this video that could sway your decision on which dog to get. If you're new to this channel, welcome. We make dog videos that are educational and entertaining. So if you love dogs, you should consider subscribing. Okay, let's take a look at the differences between the Blue Heeler and the Australian Shepherd, both dogs that are rising in popularity because how versatile, smart, loving, and loyal that they are. First, we'll compare and contrast the temperament of these two dogs. We'll start with the Blue Heeler. The Blue Heeler is an extremely high energy dog that needs exercise in order to thrive. They need to be outside playing or chasing cattle or out on the ranch. They need to be outside and releasing that energy. And if you can do that, this is an outstanding dog. They're loving, loyal, and can be so gentle inside the home as a loving family dog. They're also incredibly smart, so they'll need to have their brains stimulated with different activities, different games to keep them happy and healthy. As for the Australian Shepherd, they too are high energy, not quite as high energy as the Blue Heeler, and they're a little bit more family friendly, not saying that the Blue Heeler is not, but the Australian Shepherd needs exercise, and if you give that to them, they'll be loving, loyal, and a great dog for a long time to come because of their great nature. Next, we'll compare and contrast the size of these two dogs. Generally, these dogs are similar in size. First, for the Blue Heeler. The Blue Heeler is a compact, medium-sized dog that typically does not have very long hair. They do shed a lot, however, because they have a double thick undercoat However, the Blue Heeler is typically anywhere from 40 to 50 pounds, and height-wise, they're 24 to 26 inches. As for the Australian Shepherd, they're typically just a little bit bigger at 45 to 55 pounds, and they can be a little taller as well. They also have a longer coat that makes them look bigger than they even are as well. But in general, these guys are about the same size. They're that medium classic size dog. They're super athletic, agile, and can do anything that you need. Whether it's going for a walk, chasing cattle, going up and down stairs, they can do it all. Next, we'll compare and contrast the exercise requirements for these two dogs. First, for the Blue Heeler. This dog needs a lot of exercise. If you live in an apartment or a small space, this dog might not be best for you. They need to be outside exercising vigorously one to two hours a day. They need to be out on the cattle ranch, running, playing, being free. These guys need to be outside and need to be releasing all of that energy. If you can do that, the Blue Heeler will be an excellent pet for you. As far as the Australian Shepherd, they too need a lot of exercise. Maybe not quite as much as the Blue Heeler, but they're a very active dog that's used to being out herding cattle. So they want to be out running, playing, going for walks with you. So both of these dogs need about one to two hours every day of vigorous activity. And if you can do that, you'll have a happy, healthy dog on your hands. Next, we'll compare and contrast the training for these two dogs. First, for the Blue Heeler. The Blue Heeler is incredibly smart, one of the smartest dog breeds in the world. So they need a strong leader and one to give them direction because they're looking for it and they want direction. They want to please their owner and they want to do whatever it is that you're doing. So if you can give them strong direction, training a Blue Heeler will be no problem at all. But if you don't give them the training, they're smart enough to do it their own way. And their own way usually is destructive. So if you get a Blue Heeler, make sure you give the strong training needed. And if you do that, you'll have no problems at all. As for the Australian Shepherd, they too are incredibly smart. So they need a strong leader to help them as well. The Australian Shepherd is a little less destructive than the Blue Heeler if they don't get the training they need. But in any case, you'll definitely want to make sure that you're giving the Australian Shepherd all the training necessary to have them lead into a happy, healthy life. Lastly, we'll compare and contrast these dogs and how they do as a family dog. First, for the Blue Heeler. 
like we've said all along throughout this video, if you give the blue healer the space, time, and energy that they need for their energy requirements, then this dog is an outstanding family dog. They're loving, loyal, and affectionate, and they're very protective of their family. So this dog is super versatile and can do just about anything for you and the family. They're smart, can be around in the house, be outside, inside, can just about do it all. But they need the exercise in order to get rid of all that pent up energy. As for the Australian Shepherd, they too are an excellent family dog. They're very loyal, smart, and brave, and they want to be around the family at all times. So if you go with either one of these dogs, they're going to be outstanding family dogs as long as they get the exercise they require. Overall, these are our favorite two dogs because they're so smart, active, protective, loving, and loyal. So you can't go wrong with either one. We hope you've enjoyed this video, and we'll see you on the next one.